up guys it's Amelia welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be doing a full face of minis basically a full face that I received entirely of samples so yeah if you guys want to see me do a full face of samples then just keep watching so I'm gonna start with some primer now this is something I've literally been dying to try since I got it last month so I always show what I got in my monthly subscriptions for ipsy and boxycharm but I do not show Sephora play a majority of time I actually get a lot of like skincare or fragrances or just like lip stuff from Sephora Play. I don't get too much of a variety like I do in my Ipsy and BoxyCharm, but sometimes there are just some goodies I get in Sephora Play that I really, really want to like test out on camera. So this is one of them right here. It is the Milk Blur Stick. I've been dying to do like a full face of milk makeup for some reason. The brand just fascinates me. I don't know what it is. I don't know, something about it I was so excited to try, but it is a silicone-free matte primer. It primes, blurs, and mattifies. A lot of you guys know my skin is not good with primer and I'm actually having a little bit of a breakout. I don't know, do you guys also get this where if you get sick and take like medicine, do you guys break out from that? Because I do, it's annoying. <laughs> We're gonna put this on and see if it helps make my skin look a little bit better. Oh my gosh, it's, it looks so weird. Do you guys see that? Oh, that's so weird. I thought it would be like a color. I can't tell if it's like actually going on my face. <laughs> okay, I kind of feel it. I literally feel like I'm applying a glue stick to my face. Oh, okay, there we go. Now I feel product on my skin. I will say I feel like it is definitely like blurring my pores a bit. I'm not floored by it yet. I don't know how I feel about this. Okay, now I'm just gonna go in with some Physicians Formula Healthy Foundation. This is not a sample I've ever received. However, I have gotten a bunch of like foundation samples from Sephora Play. I've only liked one or two of the samples I've received. Like I received Makeup Forever, Hourglass. I've received a Cover FX foundation that was really, really good. And by the way, their color matching is so good. Like, so good. However, the Cover FX one, like, really showed some rough patches on my skin and since it's winter time my skin's a little more textured so that's why i did not want to put it on today but we're gonna go to my all-time favorite physicians formula one just gonna take a little bit of my physicians formula foundation and a concealer brush and try to really hide this zit right here it just does not want to cover i'm probably making it worse <laughs> So next I'm gonna go in with concealer, but like not really a concealer. I got this in my Sephora Play again. This is another product I've been dying to try. This is a contour stick, but in the banana shade. So I don't really know how you apply this, but I feel like since it's like a nice yellowy color that it would look really good underneath like the eyes. Oh wow, it's like really thick. How's this gonna blend? Maybe this will good, like, look good under concealer. Maybe I'll do that. So we're just gonna take my same concealer brush and blend this like this, cause it's such a thick formula. I don't know how well like a normal blender will do. I think it kinda looks good. Really helps with my darkness under my eyes. I don't know, what do you think? Did that like do much? I feel like it did something. Maybe I should have like used a blender. Here, we'll just pat out the rest. I feel like it is a little drying though. You know what, let me do some like on the bridge of my nose like this maybe like right on the forehead and then it will take the beauty blender this time I, don't know. I mean it is a little brightening but nothing like concealer can't handle maybe i'm just using it wrong how are you supposed to use this <laughs> maybe it's just too dark for me and that's why i'm not getting like amazing results so i'm just gonna put some on like the high points of my cheeks All right well, i'm just gonna go in with my tarte shape tape and kind of put it on my eyelids and then I guess right over the banana shade. Sticking with some creams, I'm gonna be going into this Barfly highlighter. You guys, this is so good. I got this from Ipsy and it is in the shade Candlelit and it is the most beautiful cream highlight. Like, I love it. I'm just gonna take some on my finger. I'm just gonna pat some on my cheekbone. So pretty and subtle though. I'm normally not one to just love like subtle highlights, but I just think it's so beautiful. I'm gonna be using my NYX HD powder. This I did not ever get 
as a sample, but it is pretty inexpensive. I'm gonna be using the CoverFX Perfect Setting Powder. I've never tried this. I wanna say this was a promo code from a Sephora order that I placed. Oh, it comes with like a little, <gasps> this is like the first sample that has like a lid that you put back. Oh my, that's amazing. A lot of samples you get and it's just a huge mess. <gasps> this is so amazing, thank you. I'm gonna take my little, <laughs> my huge brush in the little pan. Ooh, <gasps> that is so blurring. Oh my gosh, I wish I'd tried this sample sooner, but I wanted to film it. <gasps> this is beautiful. Oh my gosh, I think I need to get a full size of this. It's, it looks so beautiful on the skin. I feel like it just smoothed the skin so much. Now I'm gonna be doing bronzer. I'm gonna be using Take Home the Bronze anti-orange bronzer from the balm cosmetics i have it in the shade oliver and i've used it many a times and i got this from ipsy so in love with this it builds beautifully it's super amazing for pale people like me this gives a nice warmth to the face now for blush i'm going to be using my tarte amazonian clay blush in the shade parte <laughs> I have received this a couple times in my Sephora play. This isn't the exact one I received. I believe I gave those away to friends. But yes, I do have my own right here. I believe I actually got this as a birthday gift from Sephora though, like the specific one. So we're gonna be using this one. I love Tarte blushes. They're just so good. I don't use this color that often, but it's really pretty. Now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. I'm gonna start off with this one, which I just got in last month's Ipsy. I've been using it pretty much daily. It's the Meech and Mia pressed eyeshadow in the shade Taupe. It's just so gorgeous. I cannot get enough of it. So I'm gonna start by using this as just a nice base for the crease. I also received this little Smashbox duo, and this is actually a little shadow duo that is from the Covershot Golden Hour eyeshadow palette. And oh my gosh, first of all, it came with a little mirror, which is so cute, and these colors are just to die for. I think I'm gonna start off with this shade right here. And just kind of press this into the outer corner and blend it a little bit into the crease. Then I'm going to be applying this other color to the rest of the eyelid. Then I'm going to go back into the Meech and Mia shade and just make sure everything is kind of blended at the edges. Then I want to take a little bit of the Tarte blush that we used. I just want to put this kind of a little bit in the outer corner and into the crease just so we can balance out the complexion a little bit with the eyeshadow. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the darker color in the little Smashbox duo and kind of line my lower lash line, just the outer half of it. I don't want to go all the way in. Now I'm going to go in with the Becca Opal Highlighter. This is their Shimmering Skin Perfector one. And I'm going to be kind of placing this like on top of my eyelids, just with my finger a little bit, just so we can add a little bit of dimension. I'm just gonna be placing it in the very middle of the eye and blending it. I'm also gonna be putting this on the inner corner of my eye. I believe I also got this as like a little promo code sample. I'm also actually gonna be using this a little bit over the top of the Moonlit Highlighter. Now I'm just going to curl my eyelashes really quick. Then we're going to be using the Lancome CILS Booster just for a mascara base. I actually only ever received two mascara bases in my little monthly subscriptions, which is such a shame because I feel like these are just game changers. Like if your favorite mascara like ever transfers or has trouble like sticking to your lashes, this helps so incredibly much. And then for mascara, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Super Fan Fanned Out Mascara. This one is so, so, so pretty. Now for my brows, I don't actually receive like a lot of brow products. I believe I've only ever received like brow gels. I don't think I've ever actually received like a brow pencil before. I'm just going to be using my favorite Kat Von D Signature Brow Pencil. Now I wanna set my brows with some Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I got this in my Sephora play and it's just been game changing. I definitely need to order more cause I'm running a little low on this one, but like my favorite brow gel ever. Then for lips, I'm gonna be using a It's About Time Vivid Lipstick Mini from the brand Sugar. And it is in the shade Better Call Me Salmon, which is number nine. 
I really, really love this color on me. Now I'm going to be applying some Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. If I'm not mistaken, I want to say Sephora Play sent this to me. Otherwise, I got it in one of their promo codes, but I had to purchase the full size because I loved it so much. It just helps blend your makeup together so beautifully. I oh, love it. Then to set everything in place, I'm going to be using some Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have gotten like two of these in my Sephora Play before, and obviously I have the full size now, but... It's so good, so freaking good. I actually still have the little bottles that Sephora sent me in Sephora Play and I just use those for like traveling so I don't have to bring this huge bottle with me. All right, so this is my full face of little minis or samples that I have received from either Sephora or Ipsy. Love both makeup subscriptions. If you are debating on getting a makeup subscription, I highly, highly recommend it. I feel like you would definitely want to pick up Sephora if you're a little more into skincare. I feel like they give you a lot of base products and they also give you a lot of like skincare products. So definitely recommend Sephora for that. Or if you like really name brands, like you're gonna get Urban Decay. With Ipsy, you can really, I think, change your preferences, but for me, I really like keeping Ipsy more for makeup because you get to try a lot of really fun indie brands. I feel like Ipsy is definitely more focused on indie brands. I feel like I get a lot of brands that I don't recognize, um, but there are on occasions times where I'll get like Tarte and like really well-known brands. But yeah, they're super amazing brands. You get all these samples. Sometimes you get a little too many samples. I've definitely had to give some samples away to friends. But overall, I absolutely love makeup subscriptions. I highly recommend giving them as gifts. Or if you just love makeup or want to experiment with makeup, I feel like it's a great way to kind of build your collection, especially if you have no idea what you're doing. All right, so this is the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And question of the day, what is the absolute best makeup sample you've ever received? Whether it was through like a promo code or one of your makeup subscriptions, please let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Amelia. <laughs> if you guys want to see more beauty tutorials and reviews and just fun videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And if you're already subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you guys will get notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a brand new video. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of your day and I will see you next time. Bye!